reporting from Bruno News Network, here to report on a new mechanical invention called the guillotine. This machinery is created by Dr. Joseph Guillotin in 1789. Today, we are diving into an interview with Dr. Guillotin himself to learn more about the process and design that went into the creation of the guillotine. The guillotine is a piece of machinery designed and used for the beheading of people. The slanted blade allows for a more clean and precise cut. This is known as a better and humane way of execution. The guillotine has been commonly used here throughout the reign of terror as the main weapon of execution. This weapon is predicted to kill thousands of people if Rob Spear continues his work. Let's get into the interview, Hannah. Hello, my name is Hannah Finkel, here with Dr. Joseph Guillotin, the founder of the guillotine. So, Dr. Guillotin, explain what this device is exactly. This device is a precise and more humane way of performing an execution. The basic structure of the guillotine is a slanted blade attached to rope upon two beams of wood. The victim's head is placed in a holding position while the rope and blade are being raised. Because the blade is so heavy and at the slant, it provides a more clean and painless death. So, do you know why the executions of people are such a huge event? I suppose the utter terror we are facing in France gives everyone a thrill at seeing death, but the guillotine provides a more quick yet entertaining death. These people are being executed uh, going against the word of Robespierre and the revolution itself. We've seen that not everyone agrees, and Robespierre is trying to cleanse France of those people. Because of the, con the countless deaths, I felt it was necessary to invent a more or less painful death. Thank you for your time. As you heard, the guillotine is currently being used as the go-to execution weapon. It has been popularly used currently during the reign of terror led by Robespierre. Of course, we support him, but is this the most essential way of ending a revolution? Today, Hannah is also interviewing some people to learn about the opinions on this new machinery. She will be interviewing a man at the guillotine for execution and a viewer who is also a supporter. We'll get right to the interview after this commercial break. Are you suffering from a shortage of bread due to the overpriced flour? Has the king's actions caused you to starve? If so, you're not alone, and there are ways that you can help yourself and others. This is a call out to the first and second estate, because we need your help. It's as simple as donating a quarter a day to your local bread foundation to help these poor, innocent people. To find out more, go to www.savethebread.com. Donate today for a better tomorrow. Here we are, live at the scene of an execution. Now tell us, how does this experience make you feel? And do you still support the guillotine? I do not support the guillotine, nor do I support Robespierre. Why not? I find it very inhumane, considering the fact that I'm about to be killed by people. Any form of killing is not right and should not be tolerated, especially for the crime that I committed. Well, what crime did you commit? Like hundreds of others, I am being killed for expressing my feelings about France having hardly any food. I hardly eat anything anymore, just because King Louis raised the price of flour to help France gain more money and become more wealthy. But he seemed to forget about the people and their needs, so because he can't take care of his people, I am the one killed. Now that we've learned more about what it's like to be in the guillotine, we are asking some of the viewers their opinions. So sir, what do you think about the guillotine? I completely agree with this miraculous invention. These people, although their crimes do deserve a quick death, but death itself. Do you support the actions of Robespierre? Well, of course. This man is the speaker of the Third Estate and brought his victory over the king and queen. Why do you think these executions are public? I believe that these executions serve an example of those who don't believe in Robespierre. They will be ultimately punished. This also shows the loyalty of his followers and the cravings we have to cleanse France. As seen from these interviews, the invention of the guillotine greatly impacted people's lives. So far, the amount of deaths in France has dramatically weakened France. It has also created fear in everyone throughout the whole country. People have started to feel the need to support the guillotine, even if they don't, just because they don't want to be the next victim. Thank you for watching this week's episode of BNN News. See you next time.